All right, so you've seen our videos standing in our office talking about the differences between shingle, corrugated metal, standing C metal. We wanted to take you out into the field and show you what an actual metal roof install looks like and show you not only just a metal roof install, but in my opinion, the best metal roof install that you can possibly get in today's market. So I wanted to take a look around this job site here. What we're doing is a standing seam metal roof behind me. So as far as metal roofing goes, it's the higher end of the two different styles of metal roofing. No exposed fasteners, no leak points. This is a, literally a bulletproof roof that can last you a lifetime, if not more, right? You can pass this roof down to your children. And I kind of wanted to go around and talk about these panels, show off some of the details and show off, you know, why this truly is the Rolls Royce of, of roofing materials. You know, shingles are great. They have a place in the market, but if you really want to make a statement and you want to stand out, not only stand out from the Joneses, but be the envy of the Joneses, this is what you want here. So what we're working with is a 26 gauge standing seam panel. Um, there's two different styles that you can get. Um, there's one that has a, just a factory gloss finish, and that's usually 80, 90% of what you're gonna find on the market. But what we have here is an actual matte finish on these panels. It almost looks like Teflon, right? It's like a high-end Teflon pan. You'd go to Bed Bath & Beyond and spend $200 for this pan, but this is actually going up on your roof. And as you can see, I mean, there is no way to cause an imperfection in this metal, right? My hand, not the cleanest hand ever, but if you just touch this panel, right? Typically on a normal you know, panel that you would buy from Home Depot or Menards or Lowe's, you would see fingerprints, scuffs. This is some real deal stuff, right? Like I said, it's basically a Teflon pan. If you wanted to cook an egg on here, you probably could. This is, it is literally like putting together a Lego set, right? Look at all these different parts and pieces. I mean, we have $13,000 of materials sitting on the side of the road here, and it's gonna create something that's beautiful, will last a lifetime, and it's almost bulletproof, right? But this is all the different parts and pieces. You have all the different trim coils, all the nails. Every single panel is literally cut to the exact specifications of the roof. This is like we're getting a tailored suit for your roof, you know? Every panel is specifically cut to fit every single part of the roof. This is an old farmhouse too, so we have areas of the roof that measure 16 feet and then another that same part of the roof five inches down measures 16 feet two inches right every single one of these panels is custom fit and custom tailored to make sure that this roof will last forever and look this good forever too i mean as you can see the, these are all the different you know this is one section of the roof here <coughs> this is another section of the roof here and in another section of the roof here so we're completely tailored to the style and the lengths on this roof and down here so while charlie drools over the panel here i'm gonna go over a couple of accessories that go into a metal roof um, right here we have the um, what's called the drip edge. This goes along the eave of the roof. Uh, when you bring the panels down, what you want to do as far as the insulation, you know, insulation chip is, you want to put a hem on this and you clip it in like that. Uh, these all get installed with screws. Uh, we don't like to use nails. Nails tend to uh, come loose over here, so it screws will hold it tight. Um, right here we have the uh, this, here, this piece here goes in the uh, metal valley. So with a shingle roof, you'll see that a lot of the valleys are going to be closed. Uh, obviously with a metal roof, you can't really close a valley. Uh, you want to put a piece of metal roof in the side of the valley here. Um, has a little W shape to it. These here go about one foot on either side of that valley. And the, the panels here, you put a hem on the panels, and they'll clip in like so. This way it'll keep it nice and stiff. And then, uh, this piece here, the Z-bar, it goes along the ridge of the roof. So you'll see on the roof here, uh, before the ridge vent goes on, you put this on there and it kind of exposes that. You don't want bird bugs, big bugs coming up in there. And um, over here we have some of the rake in. Still, it all comes in the kind of rack because the stuff does scratch pretty easily. We have the final product here, right? I mean, the, the, the results speak for themselves. It's beautiful, and it's sleek, modern, and it's gonna last forever. So th these are the final little details that we love about standing seam metal roofs in particular, right? If you look here, all the hems are completely folded over. We're about an inch off of our faceboard here because when water comes down, it's gonna cascade down your drip edge. We wanna leave room for gutters up in here eventually if we wanna put them in. This is what we like about standing seam. Look at the details. Every single little area is closed off. Nothing is getting inside the end of these panels. There's a, there's a level of craftsmanship that goes into these metal panels that sets it aside and into a totally different category, totally different stadium from asphalt shingles. And while you're gonna pay a little extra for these, and we think the results speak for themselves, you know, we look at details like this and just the overall 
final product. That's it, that's gonna wrap it up for this roof here. You know, we wanted to let you know why we love these kind of roofs. We wanna do more of them, we love doing them. Um, and the, like, like I said, the results speak for themselves and we have a great finished product that this homeowner won't have to worry about for the next 50 years probably. So they're gonna be looking good and have a nice dry roof over their head for the next 50 years. So that's about it, thanks for watching.